So here we are at a blank drawing file right here. So this right here is your drawing. This is where you'll be working. Uh, over here is a bunch of menus and options and things. Uh, up at the top is all your tools. All right, and then also up at the top above that, you've got all these different tabs up here. Now there's a ton of buttons in Inventor. This is actual engineering software that actual engineers use. So there is very advanced stuff that we will never even touch. Um, most of what we'll need when it comes to drawings are just these couple of things under place view, under annotate if we want to add some dimensions in the text button. And for this assignment we'll be using the sketch. We've got line, circle, arc, rectangle which does pretty much what you think it would do. Line draws a line. All right. And you'll notice when I draw a line, that little blue box, uh, text highlighted in blue, has a number. Well, I can make with it, let's say I want to make that five inches. I can just type in five, hit enter, and that's now exactly five inches. All right. If I want to get out of a tool, if I right click and hit OK, or if you're on the desktop computer, if you hit escape, that gets out of a tool. Circle draws a circle arc makes an arc part of a circle rectangle draws a rectangle all right so most of those do exactly what you think they would do but one of the nice things about this CAD software is that you can make things exact sizes so let's say I want a rectangle that's exactly three and a half by four and three quarters inches so I'm gonna click my rectangle tool I'm gonna click once I'm gonna lift my mouse up and before I click a second time so let's say I wanted that 3.5 and then to get to the other box I'm going to hit tab on the left side of my keyboard. Hit the tab button and I can say 4.75 and hit enter. Now I have a rectangle that is exactly three and a half by four and three quarters inches. All right. All right. I'm going to, again, I'm going to highlight that, hit delete. So now we can actually get going here with our phone stand. So this right here is a standardized engineering drawing right here. Uh, we don't need a lot of this stuff for this project right here. Uh, what this is, is if I like zoom in down here, tells me, hey, who I made it, when it was made by, um, there might be different bits of information about scale, size of the drawing, if you had a title, you know, whatever it is. We don't need this stuff right now. So we're gonna delete that. Over here on the left side, this ANSI large, that's our whole, oh, I'm sorry, that's the part right here. I'm going to right click, hit delete. This border right here looks pretty, but we don't need it for our phone stand. I'm going to right click, hit delete. So now we have a blank page. Now the problem with this page is it is a gigantic page. We're going to change this size to a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So sheet 1 right here, right click edit sheet and you can see this piece of paper right now it's called a size D uh, it is 22 inches by 34 inches so that is gigantic a regular size sheet of paper is eight and a half by 11 so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this sheet and drop it down and we can create whatever size we want but I'm gonna change it to size A and you'll see that's eight and a half by 11 inches and for this one, let's work in portrait. Portrait's up and down. Landscape is side to side. Let's work in portrait. So size A, portrait, hit OK. And now I have a sheet of paper size that, you know, sheet of paper. Let's make our drawing on here. All right. So this is all set up. I'm going to click on start sketch. So up here under sketch, start sketch. And this is where we can draw kind of whatever we need to draw. Now, one of the important things to be aware of when you're doing this type of technical drawing, CAD drawing, computer aided design, is that things need to be accurate. You're not just kind of drawing what looks good, but you're drawing it to an exact number. So that way it all works out. All right, so let's set up 
our drawing here. So, so we've got our page set up, eight and a half by 11, in our drawing file. 